So, um, another treatment, another um, drug, another theory for Alzheimer's disease bites the dust. Um, this is the New England Journal, uh, May 3rd, 2018. There was, uh, it's a page 1691 is a uh, clinical trial for a new medication called Verubicistat. It's a one of the base uh, one inhibitors. I'll talk about what those are in just a minute, but first let me cover the the article itself. Um, there was a lot of hope by Big Pharma for these. It was going to be the uh, <clears throat> the big hope for the cure for Alzheimer's disease. The title is Randomized Trial of, of Verubicistat for um, Mild to Moderate Alzheimer's Disease. Um, it features a list of who's who globally in terms of treatment for Alzheimer's. Um, the Merck Labs, Merck was the pharma that had this, uh, this medication. Um, the Alzheimer's Institute in Phoenix, Southern California, San Diego, uh, the clinic, Cleveland Clinic for uh, Center for Brain Health, Lou Ruvo, Toulouse uh, Center in Toulouse, France, um, <clears throat> and Leuven, Belgium. Again, the world leaders in uh, management of um, Alzheimer's. What was the what was this, the study design? It was the you know it was the ultimate study design, a randomized clinical trial, which is what you tend to see with uh, these drug studies. Um, plenty of people involved, uh, 1,958 patients, 78 week trial evaluation of tw uh, 12 milligrams, 40 milligrams, and comparing both of those to placebo. Um, <clears throat> What were the outcomes that they were looking for? Um, improvement of activities of daily living, you know, the ability to function in our world. The, uh, the second major outcome had to do with testing, neurological testing for Alzheimer's disease um, and cognitive decline. The uh, randomization was 653 randomized to the 12 milligrams, 600 and, uh, 52 randomized to 40 milligrams and 653 randomized to um, placebo. Short answer, it didn't work. Verubicistat did not reduce cognitive or functional decline in patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease and was associated with treatment-related adverse events. So it did more damage than help. Um, <clears throat> now, why is this a big deal? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, it's it was the first big trial of a of a base one. What are the base one inhibitors? Um, you remember beta amyloid? That's that um, inflammatory protein that you find in the uh, cerebrospinal fluid of the brain of people with Alzheimer's, or tend to find it a lot there, and so. The theory and assumption was if you can stop that um, beta amyloid deposition, you could stop the disease. Well, again, it didn't happen. What is base one? Beta amyloid pre protein precursor cleaving enzyme. So again, it's the enzyme that creates that beta amyloid and uh, the medication uh, is a competitor that, that binds and slows down the function. Actually, this article uh, goes on to mention that. It said, with many big pharma companies uh, expending great resources in the search for base 1 inhibitors, the, um, the verubicistat uh, failure uh, was a big deal. They're not stopping. They're continuing to look in other areas. Um, and obviously, I wish them good luck. Um, <clears throat> but I'm a prevention doc. And, you know, it's like... Uh, it's like most mechanics. We used to work on repair of things, and what we have found, duh, is that if you prevent the problem in the first place, you're a lot better off. So again, let's go back and start thinking about um, the lifestyle measures that we know help to prevent uh, Alzheimer's.
uh, daily physical uh, exercise, uh, high intensity interval training, uh, resistance training, keeping your weight down, uh, low BMI in the low twenties, um, and um, brain exercise. Uh, see my other videos. The uh, ex what your brain continues to do. Um, continued activity has a huge positive uh, effect on uh, preventing decline. Thank you for your interest.